Projection of vectors, question 1. Determine the scalar and vector projection of vector A, which is 4 minus 3, on B, which is 6 comma 1. Sketch the projection. Now, that means we need to find A and the projection of A on B. So, let's write it like this. A on B, right? Let us be A on B. So, this represents projection of A on B. And when we are talking about scalar projection, then I'll write it like this. That's the magnitude, right? So, projection of A on B is given by the formula dot product of A and B divided by the magnitude of B, right? So, that's what it is. And this is scalar projection. So, A dot B, which is 4 minus 3 dot of 6 and 1. And the magnitude of B is square root of 6 square plus 1 square. Now, a dot b is 4 times 6 is 24, minus 3, 3 times 1, over 36 plus 1 gives me 37. So that gives me the result, which is 21 over square root of 37. So that is scalar projection, right? Now, the vector projection is of a on b, that is the symbol for vector projection. So I'm not writing scalar and vector projection here. I'm just straight away writing the, the kind of notation, right? Now that is a dot b dot product of a and b divided by the dot product of b times, I should write, which will be in the direction of b, right? So that is the b vector, right? So that is what is vector projection. In vector projection you have the direction and it is along the direction of B. So we get A dot B, we already calculated A dot B. So I'm going to use the same value 21 or we will just write it. 4 minus 3 dot 6 comma 1 over B dot B which is 6 comma 1 dot 6 comma 1, right? Now that is 21 in the numerator and denominator is same as 37 square of that you see 6 times 6 is square of 6 which is 36 plus 1 so you get 37 times so this is scalar multiple I'm saying times which is a wrong way of saying I should say scalar multiple of 6 and 1 right so that gives you the direction so that is your value for vector projection of A on B, right? Now that's the first part. So next part is sketch the projection. Now that's kind of interesting. So we have two vectors here and I can plot them on Cartesian coordinate plane, right? So it's a rough sketch. So we have vector 4, uh, A is 4 minus 3. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3. So that is my vector A. And vector B is 6 and 1. So it's like 5, 6 and kind of here, right? So let me use a different ink for that. 6 and 1. So that is my vector B. So we have vector A here and vector B, right? And this point is 6 and 1 for us and this point is 4 minus 3 which is vector A. Now if you have to plot projection of A on B right so we are doing A on B that means basically you have to drop a perpendicular from A to B right so, so that is that is how it will go so we'll drop a line which will be kind of so you have to figure out how so the perpendicular lines Let's go with another ink here. So let me see, a perpendicular line will be kind of like this for this, right? So if we draw a line like this, we get a perpendicular and look, so that seems to be a good enough perpendicular for this. So when we say projection of A on B, then this vector from here to here is the scalar projection. So let me write down this as ON. So ON the magnitude O n is actually 
the scalar projection, right? And if I give it a direction like this, which is along the direction of B, right, then it becomes a vector projection. I hope you understand what I'm trying to highlight here. So O, N, but in the direction of unit vector B, right, unit vector B. Unit vector B, what I'm trying to say is it is O, N magnitude times vector b divided by the magnitude of vector b. That gives me the unit vector, right? So that is the representation on the coordinate plane. It's kind of important to understand how we get it, right? So this is x-axis and that is y-axis and these are our points and that's a perpendicular from head of a to towards the line vector ob, right? Vector b. That's how it is. Thank you.